Hello, this is Ron Nutter. Normally you'd be listening to me on one of my YouTube recordings on Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter or from something on my website or the podcast I do. Well, this time we're going to talk about something called Shark Tap. And this is an Ethernet tap that's very affordable and something that I have in my own personal set of tools and something you should consider as well. And if you're not used to doing a packet capture, I'll kind of give you a little bit of a tutorial on what you're looking at and why the shark tap is going to be something to look at. Now we'll start out with just a regular switch here. Now obviously your switch is going to look a lot nicer than mine. Normally what you get into is you'll have a workstation connected to one port. You'll have a server or some other device that you're talking to on another port. And you may have a problem where the application talking to the server or you're trying to get to a web page and it's just not working right in the error messages you're getting really don't tell you. Well, normally what you would do is you would set up what is called a span port or a mirror port, and that's going to be connected to a PC or Mac or Linux running something like Wireshark or a packet capturing uh, software. And what will happen is you will configure it to either set, take all traffic going to the port that this system is on and mirroring it over to this or you can go from the workstation there's all sorts of possibilities this is a configuration that you have to change on the switch if you don't do it right there is a risk of causing a problem I'm not trying to scare you but if you're not used to doing this a lot and even if you are used to doing a lot you can sometimes cause a network outage by not doing it right and this is something you actually can overload a switch in certain situations when depending on the amount of traffic you're trying to span and what you're looking for so the next thing to look at is some of the uh, there are some entry level taps that will basically will say we'll take our good old friend here Mr. Workstation we will put the tap between it and your network switch and this way you can do this without causing an outage on the network you're just going to plug a single workstation and you're very close to being ready to capture it now with some of your lesser expensive ethernet taps you're looking at two ports. You're going to have a monitor A port and a monitor B port. So what's happening is all the traffic coming from the workstation will go to the A port. Everything coming from the network switch for this from the server you're watching or whatever will come down to the B port. Well, now here's the problem. You've got two ports. You either got to have two PCs or you've got to add a second network card to the PC run two cap captures of Wireshark or whatever you're using and then combine those capture files so you can see one composite image. Now another option is you can sit there and find a hub and there are still some out there they're going to be used at this point. The downside is that they are going to be probably going to have to run them at 10 megs. I have not seen a 100 meg hub so what you will do is you will take one port from the A monitor go down to the hub, take the other one from the B monitor port to the hub, and then you'll put your packet capturing PC on another port. Now the challenge with that is you've now introduced yet another device. You're gonna have to throttle the connection down to where it will be only operating at 10 meg or whatever speed that the hub that you're going to use can handle which means you may not see the problem or you may see other problems that weren't there before. It, it just kind of depends. I'm, I'm trying to speak in generalities because you know we're all going to see some things differently. I've done this before, and when you've got no option, it's, it's better than nothing. But let me show you what something like Shark Tap can do for you. And we'll get up another page here. Now, Shark Tap, and we'll show you a picture here in just a minute. Very simple, elegant device. Your workstation will plug in on one network port. The other port will go to the network switch or what system, if you're running an isolated lab test, to the other system that you want to watch. And then you will have a single port that your PC or Mac or Linux running Wireshark will plug into. And then you'll have a USB port up here on SharkTap. 
that will connect to the USB port on your PC because there's some electronics in here that have to be powered and you're up and running so it's a very uh, easy system to put in place it operates at 10 or 100 megs it is nice in that you don't have to worry with if you're doing this say you're watching a user's connection for example and I've had to do some of this in, in, a, in a prior job situation with using a tap like this this PC is isolated from the network. It has a read-only copy of what's coming from here and from here, but the MAC address of this device is never visible here or on the network. So it's so it's very safe to use. You don't have to worry about you know some something bad happening here. It is a very compact device. It operates like I said, just with a USB connection or if you've got a cell phone charger because your you know, PC will be some distance from the Shark Tap, both are options to do it. I carry mine in a Pelican 1010 case. So it, I've got it protected. It goes right in a backpack or a briefcase so it can be ready to go at a moment's notice. So you really, uh, for, for the price, and you know, we're talking less than $100, that it's very well built device uh, the company it comes from has been great to work with they've always been very good about answering my questions and it's not going to be a bad thing to have in your in your bag of tricks because this is definitely a whole lot more affordable than some other options i've got in, in the, with the other taps that i have and the this the difference about this one this is what's called an aggregation tap with what we've drawn here you've got just the single port that you have to work with here and it's combining both traffic flows so you can see them at once so you don't have to combine multiple Wireshark files you don't have to you know do all sorts of you know jump through some hoops potentially you don't have to worry about misconfiguring a switch so that's something that's well worth the time to look at you will see links further down this page with some more technical information and then you can click the uh, the buy button and go over to amazon and get one on your uh, personal bag of tools today and may want to go ahead and get a pelican 1010 case because that's what i use for mine because i like protecting my equipment so that way if the case gets hurt okay i can replace the case it's going to be far easier to replace that and then have to uh, worry about the the tap being damaged so thank you very much for your time and Go ahead and buy one now, and I think you'd be very pleased with it.